Hey members, happy Wednesday. We have another edition of Weighted Wednesday. We're gonna start today with a lunge stance overhead press, okay? So you're gonna isometrically hold a lunge, just means hold a lunge in a static position. From here, you're gonna press up overhead, okay? It's important to keep the shoulder pack down. You don't wanna reach up too far with the shoulder, right? Okay, so after you do eight to 12 reps on this side. You're gonna go ahead and switch sides, okay? Because we're only working one, one arm at a time or one side at a time, also known as unilaterally, you wanna double up the reps towards the beginning. So you're doing eight to 12 reps on each side, okay? Um, it, for example, 20 pounds is the only weight you have. You may have to do both hands. If you can't overhead press 20 pounds comfortably, um, if you can and it's too easy, you can use those, um, eccentric training tactics that we've used before just here, right? Press up overhead and then three, two, one on the way down. So after that, we're going to go into a goblet squat, okay? So you're gonna bring this up here. You're gonna rest it on your chest. You're gonna squat down, okay? As low as you can go and then squeeze and press up, okay? Really squeeze the glutes at the top of the movement and you're gonna drop the hips back down chest up. You can almost rest your knees on your elbows, rest your elbows on your knees, but uh, try not to, right? Try to keep the tension on your, on your muscles, like your biceps. Um, after we do the goblet squats, again, you can only do, you don't have to do more than one set there because you're working both sides of the body at the same time. Uh, after that, we're going to go into single arm row. So you're going to get into a hip hinge position. I'm going to shoot this, my hips back here. And then from here, just gonna row. Now, if you row like this, right, you're gonna feel this more up here. Because if you were to draw a straight line up and down in the line of gravity, whatever that line crosses is the muscle that's gonna be used. So if I wanna work my lat, I have to get like all the way down here and make that line go across my lat, which is right below my axilla, right? So right here the side of my body, my rib cage, whatever you want to call it. Same idea over here. Again, unilateral, one, one arm at a time. So we're just pulling back, squeezing here, pulling the shoulder blade back and down, making sure our elbow is passing our back, our spinal cord, and making sure our back is nice and flat and stable. Okay, finally, we're, after that, we're gonna go into overhead tricep extension. Okay, so I'm gonna go from here, elbows go up, pointing forward. You're gonna press straight up towards the ceiling. Focus on fully extending the elbows, right? You can keep your knees bent in an athletic position, right? You don't wanna hyperextend here. You'll see that happens a lot. Keep your knees bent, press straight up. Okay, so after that, you're gonna go into unilateral bicep curls. So you can lock your elbow into your side, brace your core as you press into the ground with your feet, and slowly lower, okay? So the goal here is once you curl, full range of motion at the elbow joint. You don't have to go all the way up here because once this elbow starts to move, you're using actually your shoulder, right? We just wanna focus on the bicep here, squeeze, and that's it for me, right? If I try to move this anymore, my elbow goes out of place, right? So on this side, full range of motion at the elbow that you can do without moving the shoulder. So squeeze here, okay? Even there, you can kind of start to see it move a little bit here, and there's where it moves. Okay, so that's your five exercises for the day. Repeat three to four rounds. Um, go nice and slow, train to failure if you can and have a great day. Make sure you eat lots of food and get lots of good sleep. Have a great day, everyone.